I imagine it's getting murdered in this park. Yeah. Why does everything have to be so complicated? I don't know. I just I don't understand why my family don't want us to get married. You know, sometimes I just think they don't want us to be happy. So scared. Sometimes I think we're never going to be together. Don't say that, Madame. We'll all be together. I promise. Richard, I need to talk to you. Can you turn the cover, please? What is it, Uncle? Oh, Richard, Richard. I'm dying, I can feel it. Oh, Uncle, don't say no, that. You'll be fine. No, no. You've grown into a responsible young man, and one of these days you'll get married and have children. <laughs> The other family members will only care for themselves and us, other family members. I want you to have the will. And pass my book. In the book, thank you. Look, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Yes, yes you will. Yes you will. Are you sure? Yes. You'll go forth and be an honest man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> go now and let the others in. I'm coming now. Why don't you go and meet your uncle some tea? You know, I don't want you putting ideas into his head. You just don't want him to think of himself. Whatever do you mean? You know what I mean. You've never done anything good for him. Yet he loves you like a mother. How dare you? You have no right to tell me what to do with my own nephew. Just go. Just go. No. You have no right to tell me what to do. Say it again. Say it again. I think poor Barry has. No. No. left the house to be turned into a refuge and most of the marines being left for the church so we're not getting any just uh, thought you should know what what did you say he wouldn't he wouldn't what no he must have left us something i mean you know you got to, let's just look for the will and see what it says first You know something, don't you? So go on. Tell me. Where is it? You know, what, Zita? If you were to give your blessing for Laura and I to get married, I'll tell you where it is. I already know what I need to know. Go on. You can read it. to us. 
Do what? He hasn't done anything to you. Shut up. Your uncle has given us the family business and, and your aunt has given us a blessing to our marriage. Well, this is great. You want to speak to him? Hold on, he's right here. Hello. Richard. How are you, my son? That's good to hear. By the way, who's that crying in the background? Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. Right. Oh, I see. So it's about the will. Right. I think I might have an idea that can help your family out. Tell you what, why don't I come over there and bring Laura with me? Are you sure your family won't mind just coming round? Cool. Okay then, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye for now. Come in. Yeah, please. Come in. Thank you for coming. Ah, what a lovely ass. Listen to me, Mr. Skitchy. We don't want any of your tricks. I want you to leave. Is this how you treat all your guests? <laughs> You're no guest here. Believe me. And you came here uninvited. Okay. I'll leave then. I hope you can find someone to change the will for you with complete ease. <laughs> so you can get what you want. No, please, sir, don't go. Stay, please. I'm sorry, my boy, I'd rather not. You see, I, I don't want to help people so greedy that when they can have someone who can help them with the problems of greed, they reject it. I don't have time for this. Dad, Dad, wait! You know, I never asked for much. But for the first time in my life, I found a man who loves me. Who isn't afraid of you and the things you've done. Please, Dad, I just want to be happy. I want us to have a life together. I want us to have kids. You look after me. Please, Dad, I'll never ask anything of you again. Please? Do this for me. Oh, Richard. Take Laura out and don't come back for an hour or two, alright? Alright. Now, does anyone other than us know about Barry's death? Good. Right, this is what I'm going to do to help you lovely people get what you want. I'm going to disguise myself as Barry by wearing his clothes. We're then going to call the lawyer to rewrite the will. I will be Barry, but still in bed so the lawyer will never know. Now, let's be clear about this. This is identity fraud and falsifying a document. Now, if you're willing to go along with this, which is the same as aiding this crime, saying anything to anyone, or if anyone was to find out, you could risk going to jail, or even paying a 500 grand fine. Now, do you understand these consequences? Good. Right now, I'd bear his body so I can get ready. Good afternoon. May I come in? Uh, I've heard about Barry. What have you heard? About his illness. I came around to see how he is. Uh, yes, please come in.
Doctor, <coughs> please, I'd rather you keep your distance. <coughs> I don't want you to catch anything. Very well. I came around to see how you are doing. How are you? Uh, uh, <coughs> I can feel myself going. <coughs> I'm, I'm going to have to call a lawyer to write a will for me. <coughs> I am sorry to hear that. Are you sure you don't want me to give you a check out? <laughs> Doctor, no. No, <coughs> please. I, I, I'm feeling a bit tired now and <coughs> I'd rather to go to sleep if you don't mind. <laughs> it's no problem. Goodbye then. Yes, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Simon, call the lawyer. He's in the area and will be here soon. So. I would like you to give me the house because I've put the most amount of work into it. And I would like the family business and the... Uh Good afternoon, please take a seat. Thank you. Uh, John, I mean, uh, Barry's not feeling too well, so the quicker we do this, the better, maybe. That's absolutely fine by me. I need to get back anyway. Hello, Mr. Donato. I'm sorry you're feeling this way. Make it easier for you when it gets done as quickly as possible, okay? Now, you said you wanted to rewrite your will. Yes. I want to rewrite the will, declaring anything prior void. That's perfectly fine. Why don't you begin, and I'll note it down as you go along. Well, I want to distribute 50% of my remaining money evenly between my family, Zeta and Simon. Yes. The other 15% to go to the church, and the remaining 35% to go to my dear friend, Gianni. Mm -hmm. The olive oil family business, I want to leave that to my nephew, Richard Donato. And finally, my house. I want that and all its contents to go to my dear friend, Gianni Schicci. That would be all. Okay. Right, the money will be transferred within three to five working days. The house will belong to Gianni Schicci, but because you're still alive, you're entitled to stay here. And the olive oil business will go to your nephew, Richard. Excellent. Take good care now. Thank you for your help. You take care too, sir. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Goodbye. happened I just gained the ability to pay for the wedding that's what just happened
Boy, I live here, you know. Well, it's filthy. Yeah. Good sir. Do you have anywhere to stay? You got money? What? Jewelry. No way, I'm not. Listen to me. We have lost everything. We have nothing left. And you and your insignificant jewellery are the only thing stopping us from sleeping on the street. So hand it over. I'll leave you guys. I'll leave you guys. Ah, oh, Simon. How are you, sir? Is some sort of joke? Oh, no. I just wanted you and your cousins to come to your nephew's wedding. After all, you did pay for it. It'd be a real shame if you missed it. So we'll see you in the park at around, oh, let's say, one o'clock? Yeah. Take care of yourself now. Johnny, grey suit, grey tie, black shirt, long black leather jacket, father of the bride, at the park, 1pm. You may now exchange vows. I, Richard Donato, take you, Laura Sichi, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honour you all the days of my life. I, Laura Schicci, take you, Richard Donato, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honour you all the days of my life. You may now kiss the bride. Hey.
Thank you.